What's up folks, I'm 1000, I'm an artist from Seattle, Washington, and I got a package in the mail. I got this package in the mail. And this package, I believe, is from the fine folks over at Arteza. Actually, they never taught me how to say their names. Arteza, 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 Arteze. I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna go with Arteza, sounds the best to me. Uh, let's check out what's inside of this box here. They hit me up. And they said, hey, we want you to try out some of our art supplies, and if you like them, maybe make a video about it. Sponsored! They said, here's our website, and just pick out some stuff you wanna mess around with, and we'll send it to you. So, it looks like I got the Arteza Fine Liner Pens. Try drawing a little bit with those. I got a box of 24 acrylic colors. Now, I've mentioned many times on my channel that I use golden paints and one bottle of golden is more expensive than this entire pack of 24 colors. So we'll see how, how these are to work with, but it's a bargain. Got a bunch of super fine point brushes, 15 of them, and some canvases. 11 inch by 14 inch canvases. That's everything that's in the box. I wanna try and do a bargain art supplies challenge today and see what kind of painting I can make using just the bargain stuff, the affordable stuff that I got from Arteza. Georgie loves the boxes. Georgie, he just wants to play with the box. He just, what do you think of these art supplies? You like them? You wanna chew on them? Nope, okay, okay. Bye, Georgie. You play with the box? <laughs> He's gonna chew on the box now. So let's crack some of these babies open. Looks like I got some, some pens. Ooh, they're like triangle shaped. I think I need some paper here. Cool, got some paper. Let's see how these guys, not bad. Yeah, they're pretty smooth and they don't really smudge or anything. Seem pretty good. 0.4 millimeters is the nib on those. Seem good to me. They're not like smudging or anything. All right. We'll do a little drawing, I think, in a bit. Let's check out these paints. Freaking plastic off. Okay. Got the lid. All right. Oh, these are kind of bigger than I thought they were gonna be. That's awesome. I thought they were gonna be really small tubes but it's just well packaged. So I got white, couple yellows, yellow ochre, got some oranges. Looks like I got some purples and blues and browns, more blues and greens, and some sort of earth tones. I'm really excited to try these out. Like, they're so cheap. <laughs> I guess we'll see how they spread out on the canvas. And then I got a whole bunch of brushes. I'm not gonna open these right now. I'm gonna kind of open them as I need them. Let me go ahead and get one of these canvases out. We'll paint on that. Awesome. All right, uh, yeah, I'm making a drawing here, trying out these fine liner pens. I gotta say, they're pretty awesome. Normally I use the Faber-Castell uh, ink pens, and those things range from like three to five dollars, depending on where you get them. And with the pricing that's on the Arteza site right now, it's like one dollar for one of these pens. I don't know, for such a big price difference, I'm not noticing a huge drop in quality. They're pretty rad. Uh, they go on smooth, they're triangle shaped, so they're not gonna roll off your desk. And I gotta say, so far, so good, Arteza. Bargain art supplies level one complete! All right, so I made a little sketch on this canvas and I just wanna try out some of these paints. They're not too bad. I'm actually kind of surprised by the quality. Uh, a little thinner than the golden ones I use, but that can be useful when you're trying to do washes or like transparent stuff. I'm um, just kind of doing my background here and I wanted to have this character have a drop shadow. So start with the background, put in the darker color red for the drop shadow. And the paints are pretty good. Honestly, like for the big difference in price between the paint that I'm using and the price of these Arteza ones, I kind of like them. Like I might even add them to my paint kit for more of the transparent work that I want to do, for the washes that I want to do, and just to have like a nice backup of colors. I think that 
I'm still going to paint mostly with golden, obviously, because it's just really nice paint, really good quality, really good coverage, super thick, rich colors. But these are definitely like a great option if you're getting started into painting or you want to beef up your repertoire of colors because there's just like so many colors in this super affordable pack. Yeah, this little character is just a fun sort of guy. Uh, as far as the canvases go, they're fine. Like they're just regular you know, but I don't paint on canvas that much anyway, and they seemed really fine to me. I teach kids art classes at my at my shop, Statics, and I will probably order some more of these just for, like, the kids to paint on and just for me to have around to just, like, work on little ideas or whatever. Um, the brushes, I'm not the biggest fan of them. They're just sort of, they have this, like, softness to them that it's got a little bit too much give for the type of brush that I'm used to, but everyone has different brush preferences. And I should have ordered some bigger brushes, like I only ordered these super micro ones, so I could only really use them when I'm doing the detail work. There's a couple of liner brushes that come in the pack that I actually liked. Uh, the liner brushes are sort of the longer bristle ones, and you can kind of make straight, nice lines with them. Yeah, brushes, no, nah, probably wouldn't order those again. Paints, definitely a lot better than I expected for the price. Even when I buy like the super cheap, uh, not so great paints from like art supply stores, these seem better than those. And I started out on really cheap paints and these seem better than the really cheap paints that I am used to. So hats off to you on these, Arteza. Here's a little quick tip for you. If you're thinking about getting these or really like any other cheap paints, just get like, buy an expensive white and an expensive black and then use your white and your black to mix with these colors and then these these more affordable paints, if you want, can kind of take on the consistency of those more expensive black and white. So it's great for mixing colors and it also changes the sort of consistency of the paint that you're using. That's one trick that I used to use when I was using the really crappy paints at the beginning is like expensive white for sure probably an expensive black as well and it's just going to change the game up if your budget doesn't let you spend like freaking 60 dollars on a big old thing of paint like god that kills me every time bargain art supplies level two complete all right so that's it i made this fun little painting right here and it was a total blast working with these art supplies. It was fun to challenge myself with some stuff that I don't usually use. Thanks, Arteza, for sending those products over. They're pretty cool. What are my final thoughts? Well, this bottle of golden acrylic right here, right now on Blick.com is $67.99. And this box of 24 Arteza colors is like $26 right now with their pricing on their website. And I think there's a huge value here. If you are getting started painting, if you want a whole bunch of colors, if you are looking for something a little bit more affordable than this, then I was really, really pleasantly surprised with the quality of these paints and the type of colors and coverage and consistency I was able to get out of these paints. So. Yes on these, these are awesome. The pens were great. Like, I see no real difference between the pens that I usually use that are like four bucks a pen versus the Arteza ones where the 12 pack is like $13 or $12 or something like that. Uh, so yeah, if, there's a link down in my description if you guys are interested in these products. If you end up buying something through my link, I get a small percentage of that sale. It helps the channel, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Also, Arteza reached out to me and said that they would give a little discount to my viewers. So down uh, in the description, there's also a coupon code for 10% off of your purchase, which is also pretty cool. Oh yeah, and the winner of the contest on last video is actually two winners. Their names are on the screen right now. There was two people around the exact same time that both commented that I should paint flamingos. One said like a crystal flamingo and somebody else said some other kind of flamingo thing. And I thought it was kind of weird coincidence that two people suggested flamingos at the same time and now I kind of want to paint flamingos. So I said there was only going to be one winner, but there's two winners. So if your name is on the screen right now, go to my website, 1000art.com. 
click contact, send me an email. We'll get that all sorted out. I'll get your prints in the mail. And thank you so much for commenting on my video and kind of playing along with my weird little contest thing. Uh, congratulations, you win. Thanks y'all for watching. Definitely like the video, subscribe, and I really, really, really super appreciate you guys all kind of following along and watching the videos. I'm 1000. Thanks so much. I'm out. And you win a free puppy. Yeah, Georgie. It's getting so big. Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. He's, he's back here. Okay, we're done. <laughs>